Alrighty, so just tied on this little 70 mil. Um, Lucky Craft. It's like a medium diver. They do like a shallow, a deep, and then a double deep. So really, this is in the middle. So it's going to be perfect for these flats here. Crystal clear flats too. Like. So heaps of yabby holes and stuff as well. So yeah, just a bit of um, what 10 pound braid, 10 pound leader, 2500 reel. Eight pound rod, good to go, kind of thing. So let's get into it. We just got to work our way down this way um, as the tide runs out, and there'll be sort of a bit of a bar here. So not a bar, like a channel behind us. But I just want to fish all these flats, see if there's any up on these flats, and yeah, see so how we go. A few drains coming out of here. Sand there, fair few. Why would they not be here, you think? Oh, this little drain here looks good. This is where they'll sort of be, if they're going to be anywhere. On this drain, yeah, this looks good. Coming over the top of it though, like, where they at, these fishes? Oh, there's one right at the boat there. How good's that? <laughs> it's just about to lift me lure up. <laughs> it's just about to lift me lure up. A little, looks like a little flag one. Yeah, just whacked it right there at that tiny little change in height. There we go, look at that little fella. Bar tail. Yeah, go on, spazzy. Spaz. Sit down, spaz. Mmm, good sign. Good sign, good start, good start. Hey, 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 whoa, 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 champion. Just stop. Alright, there we go. Very good. On that little hard body there. Sit. Oh, bloodies and trebles, man, eh? Good times. He's alright, he's alright. There we go. Oh, he's just full of beans. Try fighting in the water next time, mate, not in the boat. It's too late by the time you're in the boat. See, look at the tail. Beautiful tail. Right, mate. You going back in? Very champion. Hey, full of beans. Full of beans, no. Oh, that's a good start. It's a start, anyway. Just in this little drain here, coming off the sand up there. Oh, oh, world record flounder, look at that, world record flounder holder, right there, weird looking fish, eh, see you, Matt, this looks like good, good territory here, very nice territory, these little Gullies here and that, they should hold a few fish. You'd think, these little gullies, like they don't need much, the old flathead. They just like to sit in a little, little gully or a little drop off. You know, there's one. Oh, there you go. Almost like I know what I was talking about. It's only a little, little fella, I think. Coming this way, coming this way. Hit the spot lock. Yeah, they don't need much, just sitting on that. Little gully, gully there, you know. Oh, that's a good dusky, that one. Not a bad one at all. There we go. Oh, yeah, that's good. In the net. Yeah, perfect. And then off. Unhooked himself. <laughs> Gotta love them, mate, eh, bloodies. Gotta love them. <laughs> there we go. Nice bloody there. That'd be a female. Looks like she got eggs in it, eh? She's got eggs in her, but let her go. There you go. See you, mate. Oh, lady. See you, lady. Just got to find the right sort of territory form, and you even see up there on that where it's the tide sort of already kind of run out, all those little gutters. And that's what's out here. You can see these dark patches and light patches, and it's kind of where they're sitting. They don't need much cover, just enough to think they 
they've got the upper hand and then away we go. So good, getting a few now. Beautiful water, beautiful spot. Just chuck in there again, see if there's one or two others just sitting around. There's one. Oh, I'll hit that then. Backfish. So even over here, you got a little bit of a dark patch. Dark patch here, just for you know what I mean. See if there's a flood in there. So just um, technique-wise, because I know people are going to ask. You just want to make sure you keep yourself, the biggest thing is keep yourself in the right depth of water so that you're hitting the bottom. So I'll hit the bottom and I'll give it a little jerk, you know what I mean? So it's hitting the sand, just like into the sand and then coming up. So a big puff of sand and then you stop it and it sort of floats up and then you do it again and they'll just sort of eat it on that. Pause, you can do a slow wind as well, just straight into the sand, but I find that like if you just rip it like that, just rip it down it hits the sand and gives it a good puff and then it looks like something's like scared and then scared you know what i mean and that's the main thing is you've got to get to the bottom with flooded like you, you know you're not on the bottom then you just you know you're not in the game kind of thing with with the floodies so yeah that's basically basically the nuts and bolts of the technique and you just want to pick a lure that's got a nice casting distance on it. Especially on the flats here, because you you want to cover a, a, a lot of ground. The quickest way to do that is with a hard body, because you can, it's a very moving bait, cover a lot of ground. There's a floody there. Um, cover a lot of ground with it. And, um, and it's fun too, it's a bit more active than plastics fishing or whatever. So here's another little floody. Sitting in these little these little gutters here. I think this one's half hooked on the bottom. Yep, something around like a bullhead. So there you go. Nice little floody in this zone. Found definitely found the zone for them. Sit here. Sit here. Sit down. There you go. Nice little floody. You go off that way, mate. And hopefully we can find the big girl you're hanging around. Ooh, he's probably hanging around that last fish I caught actually. Usually you'll find like a female and then a couple of males hanging around. Not unlike humans. <laughs> Let's move over a touch. See if we can find another one. Should be one in this gully. I'll just spot like here for five. Have a bit of a cast around. Now you notice I've picked a bank too with the wind behind me. So yeah, it can be a little bit difficult, but it gives you good casting distance. And there's another fish just here, just sitting in those little gutters. So we've definitely found a little little patch of them here. And they're just sort of hanging out, just chilling out. Another little oh, legal, legal fish. Yeah, not a bad one at all. It's just clunked it. But yeah, very important to get that casting distance on it. Like, if you're just casting 10 meters, like, you're gonna start spoken, especially with the water this clear and this shallow. Cruising. Cruising. Look at that one. Yeah, that's a good fish, that one. Not bad at all. Dusky. Very well behaved. Very, very, very well behaved. Oh, until just then. I might take this one home, eh? Who do you reckon? Take him home. Oh, you've ripped me net, champion. You've ripped me net. Get out of me net. I'm just in two minds whether we take this fish home or not. Oh, I'm gonna let him go. <laughs> I'm gonna let him go. You know what? When the fish starts looking at me and it's like, Drew, what do you you put everyone else back and you're not gonna put me back? I'm like, yeah, no worries. <laughs> it's good karma. Very good karma. I've got so much fish karma. <laughs> it's fucking amazing. I'm not opposed to people taking fish home for dinner or whatever, it's just that I got stuff already, like I got stuff I gotta eat, it'd be yeah, it's just Sometimes I go out and I'm like, yeah, no, I'll go and get some fish today before I go 
to the shops that way you know I don't have to buy meat at the shops and then I don't have any I don't catch any keepers or whatever and then like I went to the shops yesterday and stocked up on groceries and now I'm like swimming in swimming in flathead and I'm like oh well what can you do so I'm just chuck down there into the shallow see if there's some shallow up in there There's one, yep. See that, just on that rip down. Oh, he's, he's dropped it. Just on that rip down, he grabbed it. Fouled up now. Fouled up now, but he did grab it. Oh, well, he must have felt the hooks. Must have felt the hooks and got scared. Off he went. Oh, well. There's one. Oh, he followed it all the way to the boat. That little, little flounder. <laughs> Sorry, like puffing up. And then I stopped it and he just went. Little flounders, eh? Little flounders. There's one. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Oh, he's coming at me. What's he doing there? Sort of just ate it. It's not a good one at all. He just sort of hit it running. Just hit it running. Just hit it running, all right. Come on, Come on little fella. Another little one there. Just hit it on that stop, and he's gonna go nuts. Yeah, go nuts, mate. Go nuts. Donuts. Gee, you can just see that little pause just just gives them the gives them the opportunity to just eat it and he's like if anyone's eating it, it's this guy. Look at that. Both trebles, ate it sideways, hit it on the run. <laughs> just loving it. Just loving life, mate, eh? It's always the small ones that that's how I like to hold them too. One thumb up there and then I'm an expert at holding them, so yeah, take all the advice from me, I can hold a flatty. Okay. Oh, there's one, just on the slow roll as I got it down to the bottom. I must have near hit him on the head with it. Oh, he's off. Try it there again, see if if they want to play again but generally most fish if they feel the hooks they're not too keen on it again eh? I wouldn't be there he is oh he did come back and eat it oh it's just a small one that's why he did come back and eat it it's a little bar tail that's what he is see you later mate he's probably all of that big so there you go. I much more enjoy this, like if I'm going flathead fishing, I much more enjoy the jerkbait style. It's just a bit more active than just throwing a big plastic around, clunking the bottom. I just feel like it's a bit more, a bit more cool. You know what I mean? It's a bit more rad, a bit more hipster. No, I don't know. It's just, yeah, it's good for the soul, I feel like. You just feel like you're doing something. Let's face it, flathead, not that hard to catch, but yeah, so you try and make it fun for yourself, I guess. That's what I'm saying. And this is what makes it sort of fun for me. Swim baiting, I haven't really cracked that yet, but we'll get there one day. Let's cast that off, did I? Fuck, there it is there. I can cast it off. That is the worst way for a lure to die. Luckily, it didn't die. There we go. There we go. See, I got that back then. It happens, man. It happens. You know, running 10 pound and whatever, and big wind at my back and all that sort of stuff. So, yeah, shit happens sometimes. But luckily, 
floating lure, we got it back. We just um, change a tide, so I always struggle on that first of the first of the incoming. Always sort of struggle a bit with the fishing, but I think I'll give it give it a couple more casts, and then I'm going to move on and do something else because um, that prime time for buddies is kind of past that first couple of hours of the morning and the coinciding with the run out that's kind of prime time for me so this might be it for me unless I catch something in the next we've only got a little bit further to go anyway so the next whatever half a dozen casts but yeah other than that I hope that's um gives you a few ideas about flatty fishing and just get out there and jerk a few flatties off you know I'm sure I'm sure the power fish would approve of jerking the flatties off if he's watching but yeah this might be might be the end of the morning session for me do something else but yeah well let me know what else you want to see I guess in the comments like or lures or whatever I'm, I'm a bit into like rotating lures and trying new lures at the moment so yes that's about all I might just leave it there one more last cast we have this thing as fishermen of last cast and you know you hear a lot of stories about you know last cast or for even first cast if first cast is anything like last cast it's about 16 casts first cast you know what I mean first cast of the morning could have been 16 cast same with the last cast of the of the day goes on forever uh, I think I'm gonna call it quits there I haven't had any action for about I don't know, 20 minutes now 20 minutes it's just gone dead on that change of tide so all right see you on the next one see you on the water is my catchphrase I don't have catchphrase Really should look into getting a catchphrase. Comment below, what's the catchphrase? Right, I'm going. Cooking in the sun. Cooking in the sun, brain's cooking. <laughs>